Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to prepare an old world for the Ashlands. And don't worry, I won't be showing you any kind of Ashlands content in this video. Now that Ashlands is on the public test branch, I was able to actually load it up and see what it does to the world. So far, it looks like there are two kinds of problems that can come up. The first problem comes from when you've actually explored part of the Ashlands on the server before the update. And then the second part of the problem has to do with having explored an area where the terrain was cut off because Iron Gate added an ocean layer in between the Ashlands and the other biomes. This problem will result in areas that look like this, where previous locations and various objects will remain floating, while others such as trees and other vegetation will eventually fall down into the water. Luckily for us, with Upgrade World Mod, we can fix both of these situations. The first command to run is zones reset with the parameter biomes equals ashlands. This will eliminate all previously explored ashlands and regenerate them from scratch. If you would prefer to keep some structures and see what happens, you can just run the command as is. But to actually eliminate everything, you'll need to add the force parameter, which will skip all base protection. This way, everything gets deleted properly. And that is going to fix all of the explored ashlands. But what about all of this floating vegetation and random stuff in the areas that got deleted that aren't ashlands? We'll use a different command to deal with all of this. We're going to use the zones reset command, but with a different parameter. I made some measurements earlier, and I noticed that the minimum distance from the center that the vegetation got messed up seemed to be around 7,520. We can run the command zones reset min distance equals 7,520 with the force parameter if there's no player bases that we're concerned about. But if there are player bases that you don't want to destroy, then make sure that you don't use the force parameter. This parameter will make sure that most of the world is ignored, but the edge, anything past 7,000-ish, is going to get reset. As you can see, it reset all around us, and look at that, all of that vegetation has vanished from beneath our feet. Now, as far as the game's concerned, this is a regular Ashland server. You're not gonna get any kind of weirdness with the vegetation because you eliminated everything. And in order to test this, you can simply go visit the border areas. And when you go see them, they'll look totally normal. No vegetation all over the place or anything like that because it's all been reset from the current version. And again, if you're concerned about player bases, all you have to do is just run the commands normally. This mod has built-in player base protection. It's going to avoid not just that zone, but the next zone as well. So you end up with this 3x3 three three grid of zones that are untouched near areas players have built. That's how it works. And that's it for this video, everybody. It's quite a simple fix. By regenerating all of the previously explored Ashlands, you will guarantee that the Ashlands on your world is the newest kind, not the old kind that you saw before. And additionally, by running that command that resets all of the zones a minimum distance from the center, you'll ensure that all of that floating vegetation is deleted from the area where Iron Gate replaced mountains with ocean. If you want to support my work, then consider renting your own dedicated Valheim server to play Ashlands with, with your friends. It's a great way to play Valheim, and it really ups the immersion compared to your typical multiplayer experience. You can use my link, jpvalheim at zaphosting.com. Just use the top link in the description of this video. Additionally, if you want YouTube to recommend more Valheim videos, then just like this video or any other video about Valheim, and then YouTube will dish out the content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!